Welcome to the Touch Healthy Community Module video. Hopefully from this video, coaches, volunteers, parents, teachers, can pick up some insightful information to help grow and develop our wonderful game of touch in the South. Huge thank you to Southland Boys High School for being the source of our video and providing the content. Great work, boys. The game begins with one team performing a tap on halfway. Players place the ball on the ground, tapping the ball with their foot, then proceed to pick it up and run freely. Taps are used to restart, play at the second half or after a try has been scored. The player is free to run until a defender initiates a touch. A touch should be made with minimal force. While accidents do happen, simply reminding some players to slow down can help. After a ball carrier is touched, they perform a plant. The player places the ball on the ground and steps over, allowing a teammate to be the dummy half. The dummy half will pick the ball up and pass to a teammate. It is important to give all players a go at being dummy half and receiving the ball. For defenders, after a touch has been made, the entire team must retreat to the offside line, dictated by the referee or coach. This line is five meters towards your own goal line from the spot of the touch. In our modules, we'd like to increase this to seven or eight meters. What that means is more time for the attacking players to run and have fun. A small rule change, which can help our younger players enjoy the game more, is when defenders can advance. The rules of touch normally dictate this is when the dummy half touches the ball. However, to give all players greater opportunities running with the ball, we would prefer defending players advance only when the player is quarter pass from dummy half. If a player advances too soon or doesn't get back on side, allow the ball runner to continue. A simple reminder to defenders about where to stand can go a long way. This series of plays continues until a team uses all six of their touches or scores a touchdown. If the touch count is completed, possession is handed over to the other team to begin with a plant. To score a try, players forces the ball on or over the goal line. Remember, we want our games to be about having fun and not the strict application of rules. If a player was touched or suffers a slight fumble in the motion of scoring, we would prefer the try to be awarded. Remember, it's important to congratulate the scorer after a touchdown and the defenders for giving chase. The drop ball rule. For year one and twos, given the skill level of players, we recommend simply picking the ball and be allowed to continue to run. Year three and fours, given a progression, a drop may be considered a touch. This allows the team to maintain position, but also begins reinforcing the rule. Finally, for year five and sixes, the correct turnover may be awarded. 